Hi, hello, this is Giri. Teaching 10th Mathematics, the chapter Tangents and Sequence to a Circle. The questions and solutions from old public papers. Here is the first question. Draw a pair of tangents from a point 10 cm away from the center of a circle of radius 6 cm and verify its length using Pythagoras theorem. I shall repeat. Draw a pair of tangents from a point 10 cm away from the center of a circle of radius 6 cm and verify the length using Pythagoras theorem. This question is appeared in June 2015, March 2017, March 2018 and March 2019. Here it is a construction. In order to construct, first of all what we should do is, we have to draw a rough sketch at the top right corner of the page. Here is the rough sketch. We have to draw with scale, pencil and without a particular measurement scale, you can draw a rough sketch. Note down the points and note down the measurements also in the rough sketch. Now how to construct? Let us start from a line segment of length 10 centimeters which is the distance between the center of the circle and an external point. Name it as OP. Now take O as the center of the circle. Using circular, draw a circle with radius 6 cm. This is the circle with radius 6 cm. And then find the midpoint of OP. In order to get the midpoint of OP, we have to construct a perpendicular bisector to OP. Now, how to construct a perpendicular bisector? Take compass and keep the point of the compass at O and stretch the compass to more than half of OP and draw arcs on either side of OP like this. And now keep the point of the circular at P and with the same radius draw arcs again on either side of this line OP so that those two pairs of arcs may meet at two points you join them if we join these two arcs then that line segment may meet OP at point M this M is the midpoint of OP now take O as the center and stretch the circular to O R to P and draw a circle by taking M as center and OM R PM as radius. This is the constructed circle. The previous blue color circle is the given circle of radius 6 cm and this circle is our constructed circle. This constructed circle and the given circle are intersecting at two points. This is one point of intersection and this is the second point of intersection. Let us name them. Name the first point of intersection of both the circles as A and second point of intersection of both the circles as B. Now, you join A and B to P or join P to A and B and extend it like this. Then this PA and PB are tangents to the given circle. This PA and PB are the tangents. These two rays PA and PB are just touching the blue circle at only one point. Therefore, these two are called tangents. Now, after drawing these tangents, Join A and B to the center of the circle. This OA is the radius which is equal to 6 cm and OB is also radius which is equal to 6 cm. Our answer script may look like this. Having a question at the top and the right hand side top corner rough sketch and full page this construction. And on the next page you may write the steps of construction. Here are the steps of construction. First point is draw a line segment OP with measurement 10 cm using roller. Draw a circle with center O and radius 6 cm 
Construct perpendicular bisector of OP and draw circle with OM as radius. Both the circles intersect at A comma B. Join PA and PB so that two tangents are drawn and measure PA which is equal to PB which is equal to 8 centimeters. You need not write like this. You may write at your own words also. After writing the steps of construction, the one more part is left behind that is verification. Now from the triangle OAP using Pythagoras theorem, the length of the tangent AP is given by root over d square minus r square. d is the distance between the center of the circle to the external point. Here it is 10 and r is radius. In this case, r is equal to 6. Therefore, d square minus r square means 10 square minus 6 square. 100 minus 36 is root over 64. Root over 64 is 8 centimeters. Here, from the construction, using the scale, we measured the length of the tangent as 8 centimeters. And from the calculation part also, we got AP is equal to 8 centimeters. Therefore, the length of the tangent is verified. Another question. The question is, show that the tangents drawn at end points of the diameter of a circle are parallel. I shall repeat. Show that the tangents drawn at the end points of the diameter of the circle are parallel. This question appeared in June 2015 and March 2018. Here is the diagram. Y is the center of the circle and here is the circle. Now, we have to draw two tangents at both the ends of the diameter. This is the diameter. Now, this at one end of the diameter, there is a tangent and on the second end, there is another tangent. First tangent is AB is the first tangent and CD is the second tangent. The tangent AB are touching, are meeting the circle at E and the tangent CD are touching the circle at F. This OE and OF are the radii of the circle. Now let us go to the solution. We have given a circle with center O and EF is diameter. Here is a circle with center O and EF is diameter. AB and CD are tangents given a circle with center O, EF is diameter, AB and CD are tangents. Then what to prove? We have to show that the tangent AB is parallel to the tangent CD. Show that AB is parallel to CD. Proof. We know that the tangent is perpendicular to the radius at point of contact. Here OE is radius and AB is the tangent. This tangent is touching the circle at point E. This point is called point of contact. At this point of contact, this radius is perpendicular to tangent. That is, angle E is equal to 90 degrees. We know that the tangent is perpendicular to radius. That is, AB is tangent, OE is radius. Angle AEO is equal to 90 degrees. Let it be 1. Now, second tangent is CD. And OF is radius. Again, angle between radius and the tangent is 90 degrees. That is angle DFO. Angle DFO is equal to 90 degrees. CD is tangent and OF is radius. Therefore, angle DFO is equal to 90 degrees. It is second equation. Therefore, from 1 and 2, here you can observe that both RHs are equal. So that you can equate the LHs. That is angle AEO is equal to angle DFO. Angle AEO means this angle. Angle DFO means this angle. You see these two angles are the interior angles. And at the same time they lie on either side of the transversal. Therefore these two angles are called alternate angles. Since alternate angles are equal. You see AB and CD are straight lines and F is a transversal. Since alternate angles are equal you can say that the lines are parallel. That is, AB is parallel to CD. Hence, proof. Another question. Show that the tangents drawn from external point to a circle 
are equal. I shall repeat. Show that the tangents drawn from external point to a circle are equal. This, this question is appeared in June 2015 and June 2016. Here is a circle with center and there is an external point. Y is the center of the circle and P is an external point. Now, how many tangents you can draw from point P onto the circle? The students try to answer. How many tangents you can draw from an external point P to a circle? Very good. You can draw two tangents. And we have to prove that P A is one tangent and P B is the second tangent. And these two tangents are equal in length. In order to prove it, let us take the radius also. O A is one radius and O B is the second radius. Now it is given that a circle with center O, a circle with center O, and P A and P B are tangents. P A is one tangent and P B is the second tangent, and P is an external point to a circle. What is to be proved? R T P is we have to show that both the lengths of the tangents, that is P A and P B, are equal. Show that P A is equal to P B. Now proof. We know that a tangent is perpendicular to radius. This is the radius and P A is the tangent. Therefore, angle between tangent and the radius at point of contact A is 90 degrees. We know that the tangent is perpendicular to radius. Therefore, angle A is equal to 90 degrees because O A is radius and P A is tangent. Angle between radius and tangent is 90 degrees. Similarly, O B is radius and P B is tangent. Then angle between Radius and the tangent here also angle B 90 degrees. You see, we have from this diagram we have two triangles. One triangle is APO is one triangle, APO is one triangle, and BPO is the second triangle. From both the triangles APO and BPO, you see OP is a side common. In both the triangles, OP is a side in the first triangle, it is also a side in the second triangle. Therefore, OP is equal to OP a common side. An angle PAO, angle PAO is equal to 90 degrees because tangent is perpendicular to radius. Similarly, angle PBO is also equal to 90 degrees. Angle PAO is equal to angle PBO is equal to 90 degrees. And OA and OB or radii of the circle for the same circle the radius is same therefore o a is equal to o b which is radii now from both these triangles two sides and included angle are equal to two sides and included angle and the second triangle therefore the first triangle apo is congruent to the second triangle bpo from s a s congruent see if once two triangles are congruent then their corresponding sides are equal that is P A is equal to P B. Therefore, we proved that P A is equal to P B. Our tangents drawn from external point to a circle are equal in length. Another question. Here is the question. Two concentric circles of radii, 5 cm and 3 cm are drawn. Find the length of the chord of the largest circle which touches the smallest circle. I shall repeat. Two concentric circles of radii, 5 cm and 3 cm are drawn. Find the length of the chord of the larger circle which touches the smaller circle. This question is given in March 2015 and March 2016. Here is the diagram. There is a center and for the same center there are two circles with the same center. The circles with the same center are called concentric circles. Now, the radius of the external circle or outer circle is AB which is equal to 5 cm and the radius of the inner circle is AD which is equal to 3 cm. AD 3 cm, it is the radius of the inner circle and AB is the radius of the external circle or outer circle whose length our radius is equal to 5 centimeters and AB is radius of the outer circle and AC is also radius of the outer circle 
and BC is touching the inner circle at point D, therefore it is a tangent to the inner circle and it is intersecting the circle, outer circle at two points, therefore this is the chord. BC is chord with respect to outer circle and the same BC is tangent with respect to the inner circle. Now, the radius of the outer circle is 5 cm and the radius of the inner circle is 3 cm. We have to find out the length of the chord BC. This question is appeared in March 2015 and March 2016. Here is the solution. We are given that the radius the outer circle the radius of the outer circle capital R is 5 cm and the radius of the inner circle small r is equal to 3 cm and it is given that angle ADB is equal to 90 why? why angle ADB is equal to 90? look here ADB angle ADB means angle at D is 90 how? Because BC is tangent with respect to inner circle, BC is tangent and AD is radius, D is point of contact. We know that the radius is perpendicular to the tangent at point of contact. Since it is perpendicular, the angle at D is 90. Therefore, angle ADB is equal to 90 degrees because AD is radius and BC is tangent to the inner circle. If this is 90, then from the triangle ABD, if once one angle is 90 degrees, then it is a right triangle. Since it is a right triangle, you can apply Pythagoras theorem. From the triangle ABD, using Pythagoras theorem, hypotenuse square is equal to side square plus side square. One side is BD and the second side is AD and the hypotenuse is AB. Therefore, side square plus side square that is BD square plus AD square. BD square plus AD square is equal to hypotenuse square means AB square. That is, this is from Pythagoras theorem. Now, BD square plus, we know that AD is equal to 3, AD square means 3 square and AB is equal to 5, AB square means 5 square. BD square is equal to 5 square is 25 minus 3 square plus 3 square other side minus 3 square. 3 square is 9. 25 minus 9 is 16. BD square is equal to 16 and BD is equal to root over 16. Root over 16 is equal to 4 centimeters. Now we got BD. BD length is 4 centimeters. Similarly, ADC is also a right triangle which is congruent to this triangle. Therefore, BD is equal to 4 and CD is also equal to 4. Therefore, the total length of the chord BC is equal to 2 times of 4 which is equal to 8 centimeters. Another question. The question is, a chord of a circle of radius 10 centimeters subtends a right angle at the center. Find the area of the corresponding minor segment and major segment. I shall repeat the question. A chord of circle of radius 10 cm subtends a right angle at the center. Find the area of the corresponding minor segment and major segment. This question is appeared in June 2015, March 2016, March 2017 and March 2019 also. Here is the diagram. We have a circle and with radius 10 cm and there is a chord BC this chord BC look here this chord BC is a chord because B is a point and C is a point on the circle BC is the line segment joining two points on the circle which is called a chord this chord make 90 degrees at the center of the circle 90 degrees this angle is angle BAC is 90 degrees and AB is radius of the circle 10 centimeters and AC is also radius which is equal to 10 centimeters. Now we have to find out the area of the major segment and minor segment also. The part of the circle with dotted lines, you see, the part of the circle with dotted lines is minor segment and 
this part of the circle without any shading is major segment now we have to find out the area of the minor segment and also we have to find out the area of the major segment look at the solution we have given that the radius of the circle r is equal to 10 cm angle made by the chord at the center of the circle angle bac is equal to 90 degrees then let us find the minor segment area in order to find out minor segment area minor segment area is equal to sector abc minus triangle abc sector abc means this part whole this part is sector abc from this sector abc if you remove this triangle abc then you will get this dotted line area this dotted line area is minor segment this minor segment area is equal to total sector ABC sector ABC area minus triangle ABC area sector ABC area minus triangle ABC area what is the formula to find sector ABC area x by 360 degrees into parallel square minus triangle ABC area is half of BH here x means angle made at the center 90 degrees 90 by 360 into pi 3.14 into r radius of the circle is 10 into 10 minus half of base and height for this triangle if this is base then this is height because this angle is 90 or if you consider ac as base then this is the height therefore this is half of 10 into 10 okay now let us simplify this you can cancel this 0 and 0 and 9 and 36 4 times therefore 90 by 360 is 1 by 4 into 3.14 into 10 into 10 is 100 minus half of 10 into 10 is 100 now this 4 in 125 times 25 into 3.14 is 78.5 minus 2 in 150 times 78.5 minus 50 is 28.5 square centimeters this is the area of this minor segment now we have to find out the area of the major segment major segment area is equal to as we discussed previously this major segment this is the major segment the part of the circle without any shading is major segment and the part of the circle with dotted line shading is minor segment now in order to find out the major segment area major segment area is nothing but circle total circle area minus minor segment major segment area is equal to circle area minus minor segment area circle area formula by r square minus minor segment area we have the value already we have the minor segment area already 28.5 now pi is 3.14 into r square means 10 into 10 minus minor segment area is 28.5 10 into 10 is 100 100 into 3.14 is 314 minus 28.5 if you subtract you will get 285.5 square centimeters this is the area of the major segment thank you thank you Ananda.